One of the big problems that we as podcasters face is that in editing our audio, when we delete a section of the audio, we are never able to recover that. If you finish the editing, save the file, you will never be able to recover that deleted piece. In today's video, I'll show you how you can recover all of those deleted pieces using Audacity. Hello and welcome to TPU TV. This is Dilip. If you don't know me, then I'm a blogger, podcaster and affiliate marketer. And in this channel, I create simple, practical and implementable podcasting tips and also share with you a lot of the audio editing tips using Audacity. So if you're new here, then you might want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification. And if you're new to podcasting and want to get started with your own show, then you might want to join my free course on how to start a podcast in 10 days. You'll be able to find a link in the description box below. Now on to today's video. A lot of the times what happens is when you are editing an audio file, you delete a particular piece from your audio, complete the audio editing, save the file and then you realize that, oh, you deleted a section that you actually wanted in your episode and then there is no way you'll be able to recover that. You will have to go through the entire audio editing again by importing the audio files and going through the process. Now Audacity in its older version had a destructive editing method which means that if you deleted that piece you'll never be able to recover that piece but the latest versions of audacity comes with a non-destructive editing method so i will show you how to use this method to edit your audio file and if once you've completed the audio editing you find that there is a particular section that you want to recover how easily you can recover that piece so let's go on to my desktop and see how you do a non-destructive editing in audacity Okay, so I am on the Audacity dashboard and before I show you how to use this, uh, before I show you how to use this non-destructive mode of editing, it is important that you understand that you will need to have the latest version of Audacity installed because conventionally the older versions of Audacity had a destructive editing method, which means that if you delete a clip, you will never be able to retrieve that. And the newer versions of Audacity has kept that intact. So there are two ways of editing your audio files. There is a non-destructive way and a destructive way. So you can edit in whichever way you want. I'll show you both of these editing methods. Uh, it'll help you understand how the tool works and better use it according to your use cases. So first of all, here is the audio file that I have. Now, in a normal case, if you were to edit this audio file, right, let me say I want to edit this particular piece. So what I would do is I'll select this piece and hit the delete button and it goes. Now, once it has gone and I continue with my editing for this entire clip and I go ahead and save this file, I'll never be able to retrieve that particular piece that I edited out. Now here, since I just edited it out, I can do a control Z and I can get that particular clip back. But this option is not available with a control Z. You'll never be able to retrieve any deleted part if you've completed the editing and saved the audio file. Now this is the destructive mode of editing. Now let me show you the non-destructive mode of editing. Now this is a slightly a longer process though it is not a very long process but there is one additional bit of work that is involved i'll show you how this works i'll split the clip at this place let me quickly do that i press ctrl i because ctrl i is a shortcut for me to split this file now once i have split this file you can see that there are two different files here and at this portion, when I hover my mouse, you can see there is a small bracket that is appearing here, which basically means that I can now drag this and reduce it or leave it as is. So if I want to delete this particular portion, all I do is I drag it here. It is deleted. Now I can join this clip and I can continue with my editing. Now, let me say that I do a couple of more edits and I save this file. Now, let me show you how this non-destructive editing works and how I'll be able to retrieve this deleted part. So let me quickly delete maybe a couple of more parts here and uh, do this and uh, adjust it here and now I'm going to save this file so I'll hit a control s and I have saved this file and let me open this file again and then I'll show you now I have audacity here let me open the recent file now when I open the recent file you can see that these are the 
pieces where I edited it. Now let me say I want to retrieve this particular piece. So how do I do that? All I need to do is just make some space for this clip and then extend it. You can see that the entire piece that I edited out is now here. And let me do that for this piece as well. So what I do is I do like this and the piece is back. In spite of saving the file and in spite of closing the application and coming back, the deleted portion has not gone. It is not been destructed, which means it is still there and you can retrieve that deleted portion. That is how non-destructive editing on Audacity works. And this is a method that I would recommend that you use if you're editing your podcast episode. You will have to build this into your overall workflow and will have to learn it uh, for maybe the first two, three audio edits that you're doing. Once you learn that this process becomes much faster and this process at least gives you the peace of mind that you will be able to recover a particular piece that you might have deleted accidentally. And this is an excellent way to ensure that your audio is not destructed and you still have it. Though I always keep a copy of my recording before I start editing, which is a method that I would recommend that you also do. But otherwise also if you're editing and if you want to recover a deleted part, this is how you'll be able to do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found value in what I shared today. If you did, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below because it will help others find this video and benefit from it. And if you're new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that you stay updated with all of the latest videos that I release. That's all that I have for this video. Don't forget to join my free podcasting course. The link is in the description box below. Go ahead, hit the link and join the course and get started with your own podcast in less than 10 days. I'll be back again the next week with another interesting tip on podcasting. Until then, keep watching TPU TV. This is goodbye from Dilip. You all have a wonderful rest of the week.